Hi everybody, this is Tina. Hope everybody's doing well today. Thought I would pop on here for a little uh, how-to or craft along with me video. Again, using napkins. Um, I love doing napkins. But I'm also going to be doing some other things here. Um, um, I am very aware that a lot of people that um, do junk journals um, complain that we don't use trash um, for them. And so I kind of wanted to um, deal with that a little bit today. I wanted to use this parchment paper that I always use. I, I buy it in um, by the box, like um, this uh, box, and I use it all the time when I'm doing uh, messy things on my desk. And I can just, you know, pull out a piece of this and, and use it for underneath. And I always have a ton of these at the end of a project that I, I just end up throwing away. So I thought about it and I thought, well, what could I do with those? And then I remembered that I had done a video on um, basically using napkins over parchment paper. Um, this is over a brown parchment paper that I have. And we used it over, it was basically um, how to use fragile pages. Um, we had this uh, with some music page. A lot of times when you get old books and old papers and things, um, you can't really use them in a journal the way that they are. So you um, end up having to um, do something with them other than use them at, at a page. And the thing about it is, is when you cover these, um, now they're strong enough with that napkin and the uh, decoupage medium that you could use those easily for a page or a tag or this is covering some old book page. This is covering some old piano roll. But these are just uh, used pieces of white parchment paper that I have. The thing is the parchment paper is really strong. Um, so I was thinking that I could cover this with that and use it as like a base. Some of them like this one may be a little bit too grungy for these papers. So I might save that for something different. Um, it's not that I wouldn't use it. I just maybe wouldn't use it on that. Um, these don't look too bad. But in any case, the idea was to um, upcycle these a little bit. So this is going to be fairly simple. I'm just going to take um, a napkin and we'll go ahead and pull this apart if I can. Might need tape. Let me get my tape. So anyway, um, I hope everything's been going well for everyone. It's been still busy here. The puppies are playing downstairs. Um, and I say that the puppy and my other dog. She was not, I don't know, she had a hard time. <laughs> After about the second day, she was like, okay, so when's the puppy going home? So, um, oh, I ripped that a little, but that's okay. It's kind of too big anyway. It's going to have to have to go down in size so I will have to we'll just figure it out okay so anyway all I'm gonna do with this is I have some uh, decoupage medium here um, and I'm gonna use that let's see let me see if I'm gonna I see you watch you're gonna see what I do with this parchment paper and this is why I have so much of it. I just take it and put it down because it keeps me from making a huge mess all over the place. And so then, yeah, but then I have all this parchment paper that I, you know, I just hate, you hate throwing things away. That's the, the thing is, is if you're doing this, you're probably in the same boat. So let me get my, which one is out? I'm trying to get one of my decoupage mediums that I already opened. 
This one's almost empty, but I don't know. I think there's enough in there. There might be. Have to add some water to it. I like my um, decoupage medium really watery. So, um, and I had somebody comment. Um, that I use way too much um, decoupage medium. I might, I don't know. Um, I just like to make sure it's all stuck down and covered and sealed. But anyway, I'm just taking this and I'm using a, a gel matte medium, but you can use any kind of white glue. And this is not going to be rocket science, guys, but I'm just going to take this and put this all over and I don't care if my stuff is wrinkled in fact I like it that way so um, I'm not going for perfection in fact that's really not my goal at all so anyway so it's been a little crazy um, but things are calming down we're getting into a routine here um, my uh, golden retriever Dory has finally figured out the puppy's here to stay. <laughs> she spent like about two or three days looking at me like, okay, when's he going home? Um, you could just tell that's what was going on in her mind. So let me get this on here. It's rolling a little bit, but that's okay. And we'll do a few of these and I will take some of the other stuff that I made with this and then... Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll make something out of them. I don't know what, but I tend to um, like to make envelopes out of them because they're really strong. And let's see, I don't know if I have any saran wrap to kind of get some of the wrinkles out or clean wrap or whatever, but you know what, it, you know what I mean plastic wrap. It does really work. But as I said, I don't really care if this has a few little wrinkles in it. So, not a big deal. And I put it on crooked and that's okay because we're going to end up cutting this anyway. So, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Get that all on there really good and I'm going to do the outside of it too because I want to kind of seal it and I want it to be nice and strong and I may just make a tag out of this I don't know or I could use it thing is the stuff is strong enough that I could use it for like a cover if I wanted to you know so this just adds a whole nother layer of things that you can make um, this napkin I got off of Teemu. I just ordered some. If you haven't watched my haul video, I showed a whole bunch of them. And um, honestly, I was kind of surprised because I had ordered some napkins from them before and they were okay. But, you know, these just seem to be a lot better quality. And um, the price was really good, so... You know, I love using napkins uh, rather than, I mean, I love decoupage paper and everything, but that can get expensive. Um, I kind of reserve that for like, you know, special items that I'm doing. But, um, or a special paper or something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to put that aside. And this gel medium will dry really, really quick. So hopefully we'll get to do something with that. And let's see, I wanted to do this beautiful blue. I thought it was really pretty. Let's see if I can get this separated. So save the white pieces too, guys, because there's always stuff you can do with that. Um, and let's see here. I've got all this stuff laying on the ground over here next to me. 
So this is the piece we were going to use. And we could just use one of these pieces too, right? Um, it doesn't have any weird markings or anything on it. And I'm going to just paint this. And I do use a lot of medium, but I like it. I like to have a lot on there. And it works for me. So. As Tim Hull says, you do you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Again, it's not perfectly straight. Not, not aiming for that, really. Because we're going to end up cutting some of this out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the stuff on the outside and then um, then I'll go over it with the saran wrap stuff. And I, if it has wrinkles, it's fine. I like the wrinkles. I just want to get most of the big bubbles out and make sure that I have um, some of the medium all over. And anyway, parchment paper is very sturdy and I just thought about it. I thought, well, I really don't want to let that go to waste because it just, you know, there's so many things you could do with it. As I said, it's strong enough that you could definitely make a cover out of it if you wanted to. You could put it on top of um, some cardstock, some file folder. Definitely you could make tags with it. So, you know, it just, just seemed kind of sad to waste it. So, and I said, see this, I, you, sit, you saw me use the parchment paper. I don't remember how much that cost. It was not that expensive, and um, I bought it quite a long time ago, so I've used ugh, a lot of it. And it just got me thinking, because I had done a project on my other channel, which I don't know if y'all have seen that or not, but I started another um, YouTube channel, and boy, it's going gangbusters. But um, I'll try and remember to put the link below. If I forget, y'all let me know, because I do forget. Um, but uh, I used a bunch of this parchment paper and I'm get, I was getting ready to throw it all away and I, I thought, what a shame, you know, to just do that because just because it has a few little marks. Because on the inside of it, on the envelope, I don't know that you're really going to notice. Now you've got the paper right here on the edge. So if you wanted to, you could cut that off now, you know. So um, here's our other piece. Let's see if we can find. Let's just do one more. And I know this is not rocket science, so not much of a tutorial really. I'm just kind of just doing my thing. So I, I really want to kind of make a bunch of stuff ahead of time. I've been trying to um, do that more. That way I can really um, get journals done a lot faster. Because I usually don't do that. I don't make a lot of ephemera ahead of time. Now see this one has little marks all over it and stuff and it's wrinkled and but that's okay because it'll still work. It will still work. Now this kind of has some direction to it but I think it'll still look pretty when we um, go to uh, Get, let's see if I can get this up a little bit further. There we go. Um, go to cut it up. It'll still, I think it'll still look good. So, anyway guys, I hope everybody's doing well. We're starting to get a little bit of spring weather here, thank goodness. Um, Although it rained a lot and having a new puppy. <laughs> so he was, he was getting on average two to three baths a day. He was just covered. I don't know. My, my uh, golden retrieval Dory, she is such a bougie little dog. 
she doesn't like to get muddy and she doesn't like getting her feet wet and it's really funny because he'll be covered in mud from head to toe and she'll have like nothing on her except maybe a tiny little spot somewhere and she's out there playing with them so I don't know how she manages that but she does so yeah I mean it's just it's the difference in their personality he's just ooh, he's gonna be a handful not in a bad way but in a kind of a playful way big wrinkle there so well, I'll just use the saran wrap and see what it does so anyway um, so we've had a few days of nice weather and then you know it gets gloomy then it gets nice but at least there's been some nice weather here and there you know so that's been enjoyable um, and got caught up on a few little projects because I was really behind between after the holidays and embarking on all my new little adventures and getting a new puppy. I was just like, oh wow, things were piling up. But I had like a few days in a row where I seemed like I was really productive. I'm almost ready to do my craft room tour. Um, I think I'll have it out probably in the next few days just because um, I want to do it before I mess up my craft room again, which I will do, I'm sure. All right, good. I'm going to use the rest of that jar. So now I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get some of these wrinkles out. So anyway, I hope everybody is, um, having a little bit of good weather. I've seen some bad weather going across the country, so my son from, um, or not from, but living in Colorado, is um, he sent me a picture of his, him being with the golden, golden from Golden's thing that he goes to every year. And last year it was like spring weather and he had a t-shirt on and this time it was a blizzard. So, um, anyway, all right, so I'm going to let that one dry. Whew. We're going to just put those aside. I have to find another spot for it. Okay, now that we have done that, I've got, look, two more pieces of paper. So... I am going to go ahead and dry those and I will be right back. Okay, so we've got these dry and ready to do something with them. And I think what I want to do is get my um, paper cutter out so I can make some straight lines. And see, now we have two more pieces that I can do something with. But I'll probably keep using those for a little bit. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is just try and cut this straight. So I'll, let's see, maybe I can cut it on this line. Reasonably straight. And then... I can use that, and then I'll probably have to go back and cut again, but um, I just want enough of the pattern in there. I can do something with it. Maybe go right here. And then probably go that straight about right here and then I probably need to trim this side a little because it's a little crooked or I didn't get in there crooked so let's see that looks pretty straight all right so these are our leftover pieces um, you could definitely save these for collage um, that's something that they would work they work really really well tissue paper works really well with collage so now we've got this very sturdy piece of 
tissue basically um, that we could do a lot of different things with. And we will. So let's cut it, do another one. Um, let's do this blue one. And I'm using this line to kind of let me gauge what is straight. And again, like I said, you can definitely use this for um, collage for sure. Let's see here. So I want to go. I cut that. There's a little piece on there. Let's go. And I'm not trying to get these um, a certain size. I'm just trying to cut off all the pieces that are not straight and get us somewhat of a rectangle to work with. And then this piece right here. Let me see. Oh, that didn't cut very good. Let me do it again. There we go. All right, this looks reasonably straight. Well, it looks like we didn't get a good cut there. Do that. There we go. Um, maybe right here, a little jagged. Here we go. All right. So we have that piece now. And then this one, I'm going to do this a little different because of the pattern. I'm going to try, first off, I'm going to cut this right here. Let's see if I can. It's a little. Again, save all those pieces because I will do that, use them in a collage. All right, and then I think what I want to do is I'm going to cut this in half as best I can. All right, and then kind of straighten this out to see what I come up with. This paper is still a little moist, that's so I'm, why I'm having to go over it a couple times. So, and then we'll go ahead and do, how far down does that go? Okay, about right there. That is that. And it's a little off on this side, so we'll go probably about right, maybe even more. About right there. Doesn't need to be perfect, but we're just going to try and eyeball it. And then this piece, you definitely need to cut right here. And then, oops, that didn't cut very good at all. Use my scissor, maybe. I don't know. Did not cut good. I might need to finally change my blade on this rotary. I really loved it, though, I'll tell you. I don't think I've changed, I have never changed a blade on it, and I use it a lot. Okay, so I think that's good there. There we go. And we did get on the bottom. Okay, well, I think that's good then. All the cutting is done for now. And so now, let's get rid of, get this out of the way. The fun part comes. 
like for this, I think we could just take it and go like that. And maybe go up a little bit like that, right? And then go down like that and have like a little envelope. And that would be cute. How far down are we going to go meet the circle? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Maybe go down more and meet it to where it's just right to that edge. Here we go. Or we could go down a little bit. Let's see how that works. And then I could bring this down to where it goes. Let's see. Right up to here. That's where it would go. I don't know. I think I like it better the other way. Making a little oval. I mean, it doesn't match up perfectly, but, you know, I think it looks cool. Because I'm going to put a little bit of lace and trim on this, so you, this won't really matter. But I do want my envelope to be somewhat squared on there, so let's just kind of do that. Okay. And still a little off. Just a little bit. Okay, there we go. That kind of stuff bugs me. All right, there's that one. I'm gonna do another one like that. So, let's see if I can get that. Oh, yeah, I like that. Go back a little bit. Try and get that to meet somewhat. Because, like I said, I'm going to put lace and stuff on here, so you won't notice a lot of it. Go down a little bit more. Huh. That has to go here. This goes there. Oh, I don't know. Try that. Yeah, that's better. It's a little better. Okay. So that'll be that one. This side got crooked somehow. And then, look at this. This is going to be really pretty. Okay, so that I'm going to do right about here. Right, and then I'm going to go down this far okay and now what I want to do on this is I want to round it around the little corners here so I am just going to fold this over and get these two corners to meet I'm just going to take my scissors and go around, or you could get something round and put it on there and trace it, but I'm not going to do that, so, yeah. So that just gives it a little different look, you know, like that. So there's that one, and then this one, I don't know, I don't know. I want to do it this way too because on this one though I want to let's see okay the birds are going the right way good do like that and get down here there we go this one, I kind of want to, do I want to round that? I don't know. This one I'm going to make it a little bit more round 
a little bit more of a kind of pouch look. I want a little bit bigger circle. So I'm just going to use that by my pen. So that gives me something to work with and I'm going to trim this a little bit because it seems a little raggedy and I'm going to go right inside the black line and I'm going to go down here and just kind of just kind of make it more of a, a pouch than a than a um, oh that kind of went in a little bit we don't want that to do that we're gonna have to fix that should be better even though I am going to put some lace and trim on there and you won't see a lot of it so okay so that just makes it more of a pouch all the way down so I like that okay so now um, we're just going to take it and I've got my trim and lace and stuff sitting over here and this is all my leftover stuff and um, different. I, what I do is when I get enough of it, I divide it up by color. So, um, and then I have another whole box over here of just, just stuff that I have not divided up yet. But anyway, we will see. I don't know which one. Gosh, I've got a bunch in here. It's been a while. I need to divide these up. So I got a ton in here too lots of little pieces that we could use um, yeah there's always a ton in here too but you know can only do what we can do so anyway let me look and see let's work on let's work on this one first since we did it first so just had that red piece let's try that that would be really pretty on there we could do it right here and then just have it hanging down right and do it where it goes over the back that would be really pretty right so we have to adhere this and I probably will sew, um, but the way that I do it, whenever I do these like that, if I'm gonna sew it, is I use just my um, scotch glue and I, I basically just baste it with the glue because it just holds it down and it dries really fast. So I'm not worried about it gumming up my machine. And it's not meant to be permanent, um, but it holds it pretty good, so. So I'm going to try and get the bottom part kind of sort of lined up to where it's just hanging over a little bit, you know, and then it'll be the same on the other side. Okay, and I'm just going to trim that. Um, along on this side here. I don't know if I'm going to go around that curve yet. I'll see how it looks. But this is a great way to use up, you know, your scraps and to um, embellish things and make something really cool. And the thing is, is this parchment paper is very sturdy. So if you make something with it, it's going to going to hold up and so then we'll do that and do I want to add anything else to that this looks like it would go in one of my boho journals I think would I want to add gold to that that would be pretty but I don't know if I want to do it permanently do I want to add gold to the outside? Let's see about that. Let's see about that. 
Um, this is all my little scrap pieces of gold. You know, could there be too much? I don't know. On my boho, probably not. Could put that there. Could put it up there. I think down there it looks better. And then we'll do the wrap around. Okay, so I cut around the curve on that one, so I have to do it on this one. Or it'll look weird. Probably I would be the only one that notices, but um, I think it looks better down there. Hmm. This is why I don't do very many decorating videos because it takes me forever to make up my mind, you know. All right, I don't know yet, guys. I have not made up my mind. So let's just, what happened to that other piece of gold that I had? Okay, it disappeared, so maybe that's an omen here. It's not, oh, here it is. Oop, didn't mean to shake my camera there. And then that's gonna go here. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do it. Let's do it, because I can put this in one of my boho journals and it would probably look really good. Um, so we're gonna do it right, right where it straightens out, which is right about here. Yeah, okay. And again, I just use this to kind of baste it. Looks like I need another glue stick. And then I'll go in and sew it all. But you guys can get the idea. Need my other glue stick, because I didn't put very much glue on that. Do it again. All right. Get it kind of level. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and cut that. And I will go back in and trim that in a minute. Yeah, this one does not want to stay down on that side, so we'll have to deal with that later. All right, so I'm gonna sew that in a minute and then not crooked, but hopefully straight. And then <laughs> it's just not wanting to cooperate at all. There we go. Throw that one away. All right, and I'm gonna put that with it. That'll be really cute. And then let's see, let's do the blue one. Let's see if I have any blue. I don't know, I don't have that much blue in here. Got this, but it's a light blue. I don't think that would work. Um, I know I have blue somewhere, but this is my multicolor bag here. Where that blue should be, but I haven't divided those up yet. I don't think I have anything that color. I really don't. Not in here anyway. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, not exactly. I don't really see anything in here that's going to work. But I do think I have a lot of cream color stuff, so why don't we look at that? <clears throat> and see what I can find there. Got tons of stuff here. So, let's see what we have here. Okay, that would work. I actually want to put that on top. 
And this is too short to do anything with. I do have a bunch of sorry silk that I could use. It's kind of in a ball. Um, let's put that up there. So that's just going to go right here. And I will sew that on. Yeah, that's one of my goals for this year is to try and make some things ahead of time because I usually don't. Um, I, w I wouldn't say I'm a mass maker because I usually can only make three or four things at a time. Because I really... Um, I put a lot in my little, little extra ephemera that I make. You know, I put a lot of ephemera in my journals that I don't do anything to, but the ones that I do, I usually put a lot in them, and I, I couldn't even imagine mass making those, so, um, gosh, it would just be, it would, yeah, it just wouldn't work. Okay, so I did that. I really want something else on there, too, like down here, or... I don't know. I don't know what I want, but I know I want something. Just have to look. Sometimes you don't know until you see it, you know? No, it doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> get a drink of my water. I don't know. It's not the same, is it? Nope. But I don't that. I want something different. <laughs> something different. This is more beige, but it's hard to do this when you don't know exactly what you want to do, so that could be pretty, but I don't think that's what I want either. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to make like a cluster there. Let's see what I have in this bag. That is clustery. Something that I can make a little cluster with and put like a button or oh here we go. Here is some wedding um, trim. You just never know what you're gonna find in my little scrap bag here. Okay, here we go. I like that too. So how about if I make a fun little cluster to go right there and I don't think I'm going to put a button on there. I don't think I am. <clears throat> I don't think I am. I think what I'm going to do is get another piece of lace or trim. Maybe I'll put that there. Let's see how that'll look. That'll just give it a little oomph. Can't see it. So maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. And then I saw a piece of here we go. And we'll use that to tie around. We'll just do that. Okay. So on that, I don't think I'm going to sew it because of the wedding trim. I do want to cut this side while it's very crooked. It's bugging me just looking at it. Okay, there we go. I was just looking at it going, that's so crooked. And then, so I will put that down right here with my um, three in one. And I'm gonna put that on top. So I'll just make this little cluster right there. Is that the middle? I don't know. Looks like it's not. Maybe kind of like that. That looks better. Okay. Make sure there's no glue going down there. That's not the top of that. Okay. Now that I've made this huge mess on my desk, 
So I'm going to put that aside. I don't think I'm going to do anything else to that. I think it looks good. Keep that with it. All right. And then where's our little bags here? I have all this pink over here. I don't want to mix the pink up with the beige because then I got to take it apart again. So let's see what we're going to do here with my little scraps. I have lots and lots of pink, let me tell you. I think on these I want to do like a cluster too. I think that would be pretty. But I think I also want to put something else on there. always have a ton of stuff that is pink. There we go. Oh, what about? That would be pretty. Oh, this would be pretty. Look at that. <gasps> Why don't we do that? They're in my scrap bag. Okay. All right, I'm sold, that was easy. Do I want to put anything else with it? On this one, I think I want to cut that. So that will go right here. Goes that, oh, it goes this way, oops. And this one goes that way. And I think what I want to do, this one's crooked, so I gotta deal with that. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna take these, and I think that they would look better curved a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and do to them what I did with the other one. I'm just gonna eyeball it. go and then we're just going to put that on there like that and I wonder if I need to put something right up here um do I want to do pink no. I don't really think I do I don't think I want to overdo this I could put that around there to tie it um, but I don't know if I want to do that on these little ones. I think I may just want to leave them the way that they are. I kind of feel like on this one, though, I need to put something on there with it, like buttons or I don't know what, but something. So let me go ahead and do this one curved a little bit. Again, it's crooked. I don't know what I was doing when I did these. Yeah, I gotta straighten these out first because when I go to sew them, they will be all crooked. There we go, that's better. So I'm gonna curve that. And I just think it ends up looking better when it's curved. See, that's why I said it didn't really matter that the flowers matched up so much, except the lines, because um, you're not gonna really see. So, and I'm gonna put something on that. I'll find like some little pearls or something. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and um, sew these up, and I'll be right back for the to see the finished product. All right, guys, so this is what I've come up with. I went ahead and sewed these, and um, this has, you know, just the little pouch, and the thing is about this parchment paper, it's very, very sturdy, so they make great little uh, envelopes that you can put in here, 
And like I said, if you're concerned about the inside, um, like this one, you can't even tell that it was used. But you could always, um, you know, cover the other side too. You don't have to just do one side. I'm going to get my ink out because I think it would be good to ink it up a little bit and see how it looks. Um, just a little bit. And you definitely don't have to do that. And you don't have to sew for sure. You could definitely just glue these. Um, I just sewed them because, you know, I have a sewing machine and that's what I have it for. So, um, so I think that looks pretty good. That would be really cute in a journal. And just, um, take this, this is just, and honestly guys, I did not plan this at all, so I just found this stuff in my little junk, my little scrap bin. So there you go. And I think this would be a fun thing to put in there. And you could actually put a lot in there. You could make this as like a little goodie bag that you put with a journal or something. Same thing with this one. Um, you know, you could definitely add this as an extra thing or put it in the journal. If they're thin enough that they would fit in most uh, journals. I'm finding lately I've been doing a lot of tall journals, um, tall skinny journals, and I always seem to not have ephemera that fits in there. And so this one, again, um, you know, just made with trash. This was stuff I had in, I actually had it in the trash. And I was sitting there going, oh, gosh, I hate to throw that away. You know how we are. And then um, this is just stuff that was in my little scrap bin. You know. So, I don't know, guys. I think that we need to definitely look at that more. Just look at our trash and decide what we can use or reuse or whatever. So there's that one. I think I might tie that a little smaller. Now these two I think turned out super cute and um, this was just one napkin that we put in half. Now I'm not going to put a tie on this because this is, see this heavy uh, uh, thing here. It kind of keeps it down. So I think that's cute. The same with this. It's kind of heavy. But I want to put something on there because I think that they need like something on the little flowers. So I think I'm going to do something on that. Uh, I have, um, let's see what I have in my little blingy box here. I'm thinking I want pearls. Hopefully I can find some easily enough. I don't know. Seems like I've got everything else. But I don't have any little pearl. Oh, I have some down on the bottom. There we go. Here we go. Those are too big, I think. Let me see. Here's some smaller ones. Okay, here we go. All kind of, oh, there's pink ones in there too. Maybe I'll use the pink ones. I think pink ones would be pretty try that. And of course you could have just put bling down there. You didn't have to put the, the trim, you know. Now I'm going to have to glue these on because I'm taking the glue off. So put a little dab here, here, and here. There we go. You know, everybody can decorate the way they want to decorate um, and use the napkins they want to use. You could even um, not use napkins. You could use like book pages or something like that and then make something that's not um, 
colorful that makes it pretty generic so that you could then um, just like take it out and use it whenever you wanted to that would work that's something to think about I just that just popped into my head and I like to do that because I, a lot of times I don't know what I'm gonna need all right guys I think that's it I think we did pretty good with our little trash to treasure I'm gonna try and do more and more stuff um, like this because I keep hearing people complaining all the time that junk journals aren't made of junk and um, you know obviously the napkins are not but to be honest with you uh, my friends all know now whenever they have napkins not to throw them away I'm I'll, all we go we'll go to an event and they'll have napkins and I'll be grabbing all the napkins so it kind of is trash to treasure because they were gonna put them in the trash but um, you know that's just what we do so Anyway, um, that's all I have for this time, and then I'll see you guys again soon. You take care. Bye-bye.